Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to part se 7, yeah, 7, yeah, 7, of Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Okay, so let's go and uh, give this door her rings. Because it's a door, it wants rings. Like any woman. Okay, it's locked. There's a painting of a woman on the door. Oddly enough, the hand part of the painting is actually 3D and sticks out. So, we take the rings, I suppose combine, and use them. I put the copper ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. I put the lead ring on the hand of the lady in the painting. And now it's open, so now we can leave. Hurrah, stairs! There's no one on the ground. I took the director's key, the one to the museum. I hid it, it behind the praying woman when I went to the d for out for the day trip. I picked it up, but, but I did not steal it. I'm not a criminal. Okay, good for you, guy. Um, whoever you are. Is this place even on the map? Oh, it has. <laughs> I was like, huh? Hey, Maria, come on, let's go. And descending into hell. Fun. Okay, so now we're going to get chased by Pyramid Head. So, run for your fucking life. Um, There is a glitch sometimes where he spawns in front of Maria. Um, Which is helpful sometimes. Um, But, you know. Uh, oh, there he is. He's got a spear now instead of a sword. Um, you really want to hurry the fuck up because Maria can die, and if she dies, this chase scene will end, and that will just be a load of fucking waste of time. Oh dear. Maria! 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 Oh dear, she's dead. Um, bye, Maria. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm pretty sure this marks probably around the halfway point of the game. Um, so we should be halfway through this game now. And now Maria's dead. And his flashlight went through the wall. Anyway, um... The director's office we need to go to, which is right here. Okay, old book of Silent Hills history. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into himself, into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. And so now we have to go get the wrench. And the letter. And then we head to Rosewater Park. And then we head to the Silent Hill Historical Society. Copied the wanted map, took the hospital lobby key. And there goes Laura, bold as brass. Okay then, that's all we need to get in here, so let's go. Okay, so now the streets will be awash with um, nurses, so yeah, you can easily avoid all of them.
Maria's dead. I couldn't protect her. Once again, I couldn't do anything to help. Laura has ran off somewhere. Mary, what, what should I do? Are you really waiting somewhere for me? Or is this your way of taking... I'm going to find Mary. It's the only thing I have left to hope for. What could she be taking, James? Hmm? Oh lord, they're a little bit faster now, so run like fuck. Um, so yeah, the streets are awash with nurses, just run, they stop and then they swing, so that's not too bad. Um, like the Fog World variant, there are a lot of items lying around, so be sure to look for them. Silent Hill has large streets anyway, because, so... You should be able to just run past these bitches without much, uh, fighting. Hi! Nope. Thank you, bye! I only needed those, bye! Um, anyway. We need to... Oh, wait, is there anything here? Was that something? No, okay. Okay, so we need to, um try and find our way back to the first area of the town, um, which is fairly easy. You don't have to go back through the apartments, thankfully. We go down here. Um, am I going too far? No, I've not gone too far. That's great. And then we go through here. Searching around, searching for items, I don't see any, so I'm just gonna go. I will pick up items if I come across them, I'm not gonna spend too much time exploring the town. Because I'd much rather just get everything out of the way, like the story and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna come across our next, um, monster. It's not exactly an enemy, um so much because it never appears above these lasses. It's these things. They're called mandarins. I'm pretty sure they symbolize James's um, struggle to try and keep his sanity since now he believes he has nothing to live for or hope for. Um, so yeah, just like the mandarins, he's trying to keep a grip of pretty much Fred's so that he doesn't fall into the abyss of his own dark consciousness. Oh, oh, first aid cap, thank you very much. I will take that. I will also take those. Shotgun shells. You get a lot of ammo lying around Silent Hill now, which is quite great. Um, I would prefer to stick with the melee weapon for as long as I can. Um, trying to think of where I'm going. Yeah, it's just here. I need to go to Neely's bar to uh, see something so that I can alter the ending so that I can get my ending. I'm pretty sure that um, all of the Let's Plays of Silent Hill on the internet um, pretty much probably go for the best ending, which is the leave ending. Um, so I'm glad I'm going for the uh, worst ending of the game. Okay, so, there was a hole here, it's gone now, but that's not what I'm looking for, it's this. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a different place than Mary, James. Thanks for that. So what did James do that was so terrible? And why does the town think that he should be punished? Okay, so, ooh, health drink. Nope, it's ammunition. I love how the street lights are still working. <laughs> okay, ooh, more health drink. Health drink. That's good. Um. Hi, Nursey. I'm pretty sure, like, 
I'm pretty sure most of the uh, stuff that you can find on streets are on the sidewalk next to buildings, so they're easily found. Um, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go for a letter and wrench now. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. A part of that abyss is in the old society. The key to the society is in the park, at the foot of the praying woman inside the ground, inside of the ground, inside of a box. To open it, I need a wrench. My patient buried it out there. I knew, but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. I wasn't looking for the truth, I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the museum was sealed as well. Now no one dares approach that place. If you still do not wish to stop James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your eternal soul. Ugh, I don't want to read the letter again. I want the wrench. Give me the wrench. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go near the Woodside Apartments because there was a door that was locked. Oops. Oh, I can access the map from here anyway. Uh, just run along Cat Street, I guess. So, yeah. Ooh, more stuff. Handgun bullets. Um... I kind of find it interesting that this place hasn't hasn't got many lying figures anymore. It's just the mannequins and the uh, nurses. Uh, the two monsters that symbolize James's sexual frustrations. Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, just keep going this way. We need to get to the Silent Hill Historical Society, but first I'm going to go to the end of Nathan Avenue um, because there is something there that I find interesting. Nope. Nursey. Nope. Just nope. Hi. You're all grimy. Okay, so the door that wakes in darkness opening into nightmares. That means that this door can now be opened. And we can use it to approach um, the other side of the town from a different angle. Um, if you don't go through that door, uh, you come across barriers that make you have to go through that door. Okay, so we have, uh, we have, to, we have to go to <laughs> Rosewater Park now. I don't know why I was going to say it like that. Um... Those ampals restore, like, pretty much everything. All of your stamina and all of your health. They are very useful, and it would be best to keep them until you're in a really tight jam. Like, if you come across a really OP boss or something. Um, right, we're next to Rosewater Parks, that's awesome. Rosewater Park, that's awesome. <laughs> So now we have to look for the statue of Jennifer Carl, the, pray the praying woman. Jennifer Carl was one of the first members of the Order of Silent Hell. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of the mythos, um, if you care to learn it. So yeah, uh, Jennifer Carl, one of the uh, original members of the Order of Silent Hell. Where am I going? I oh, know I don't want to use that, fuck that. Um, Kinda lost. Just a little bit. Oh. Um. There it is. <laughs> Here she is. Victim of persecution by the Christians, Jennifer Caro lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Yeah, whenever you look at that, you initially believe Puritans. Um. But no, it was actually Christians. Or at least whenever I first looked at it, I thought Puritans. I don't know why. Just because if you think of, like, American history, it was the Puritans that settled in America. Anyway, uh, use the wrench. And 
we now have the old bronze key. There are some hacks, I think, for the PC version that allow you to download an altered save file or just hack that key into your um, inventory, which allows you to bypass the hospital and Maria's death, which allows you to have Maria with you during the historical society. I don't know why the fuck you'd want that, but anyway. And I keep on opening the inventory, I don't know why. Oh, Ooh, an ampule! Cool. And Powell, and Powell, I don't know. Where am I going? Sure, let's go down to the waterfront. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> I don't know. I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, I keep on going this way. <laughs> Great, okay. We're out. Fucking hell. Anything here except from monsters? Cool. Oh, there is no monster here, that's awesome. Great, shotgun shells. Lovely. You'll have a lot of shotgun shells now. Um, Timing is 16 minutes. I will still go down to Nathan Avenue. Um, I'll also look at all the interesting things in the historical site and then probably stop. Because I don't really want to go into the prison. Like... I don't want to just jump headfirst into the prison. Um, because it goes to... Because I'm pretty sure the historical society is connected to a prison. Which is then connected to a labyrinth. Which is a load of shit. I really hate the labyrinth. I believe it is easy to do once you know your way around it. But I've not played this in perhaps a year. Excuse me, perhaps a year or two. Um, so I'm going to have to run around the labyrinth like a total tard. And then from the labyrinth we go to the hotel. And that would be the last area. So yeah. Keep on going, keep on going. There's skid marks all over the road. And there's nurses all over the road, too. <laughs> I can't help but think those skid marks are probably from James's car, because Permit Head's in it. Fucking driving up Nathan Avenue, picking up all the nurses, like, Hey, bitch, how do you like my car? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. Um, yep. Okay, we're near the end of the road. There's some handgun bullets here, yay! And a corpse that looks like me, yay! And he's got a map here. He's got all the same places that I've got. Nope. Anyway. Um, I find that interesting. That all the corpses look like James, and that that map was actually, um... Actually had similar markings to James's. So yeah, the corpses, I believe, are supposed to symbolize that he's dead inside. Or at least that he seems morally ambiguous. I think. Anyway, Silent Hill Historical Society. Let us just go. Ugh, I'm not sure if I'll just pass this and go into the uh, bloody prison. Okay, so... Probably a painting here, the only only the explanation remains. Waterfront landscape. Alan Smith, day of birth and day of death unknown. A scene from the area from long ago. From the style, it looks like it was done sometime around eighteen twenty. There were a lot of fewer people then, and only a handful of buildings. Although this is one of the things that everyone wants to see. Misty Day remains of the judgments. It's him. Pyramid Head with what seems to be things that look like the flesh lips. So yeah, Pyramid Head is an executioner by some sort of means and also a punisher, basically, to put it simply. Photo hanging here, Wilt's coal mine. Keep going. There is something in a broken display case in this room. Um, which I am not going to pick up, that's from uh, my new game plus. 
Nothing written there, nothing special. Photo hanging here, Brickhaven Hospital, 1880. This hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to this area. It was originally little more than a shack, but it gradually grew and grew. Photo of the director of the old Brookhaven Hospital. It looks like he was a famous person in the town. That's creepy as fuck. Look at it! There's a photo of a deep, deep hole. What could this be? Um, important. Okay, so let's go. We're descending into madness here, people. Not really, this is supposed to be symbolic of uh, going deeper and deeper into James James's subconsciousness. Um or basically his mind. Foghorn there for whatever reason. And there again. Okay. James likes thinking about foghorns? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Some document lying here, September 11th, 1820, prisoner number C221. I can't read the rest, what is this? It's a prison! First aid cat. I suppose that's all I can get then. Okay, hopefully I'll find a save point. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Ew, don't jazz. Ew, it jizzed on me from its fucking chest. Stumpy, stumpy. Okay, I don't have a map of this area yet. Um, the map comes from a desk. I know that much. Where the desk is, I don't know. Oh, hello. Deep hole. The hole's dark and I can't see anything. Yeah, sure, let's jump. I don't see why not. And... Off you go, James. I didn't mean really. <laughs> Who in their right mind would jump down a hole like that? I wouldn't. Hooray, we're in a well. Hallelujah. Anyway. There is a part of this wall somewhere. You've got to find it. Makes a different sound. It makes just a wall. Impossible to climb. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Oh, there we go. Okay, brilliant. We found a door. Oh, motherfucker. Eh, <laughs> we're in the sewers. Um, oh. Okay, we need to go in here first. We need this key. Spiral writing key. And the flashlight will go out. We can't do anything until we fix the flashlight, so we use the dry cell battery. Change the flashlight's battery, and there's creepers everywhere now. Hooray! Okay, we only understand that there, that the two, the three, and the eight, or any other numbers, um, will work. The ones that are lit up are for the code, but we don't know the code, so we have to guess. We have to try every possible combination. Um. Okay, so we try two, three, set two, three, eight. Okay, we've tried three, two, eight. Eight, three, two. Okay then. And then we out. We get out of there. Come over here. 
Um, fucking hell, it's like Alice in Wonderland. Examine that a little bit. And use the spiral writing key. And pitch black beyond the door. Can't tell how far down the blackness stretches. Let's just jump down then. I'm really hoping there is a save point somewhere. Otherwise it's going to be a little bit longer than usual. Um, yeah. Um, probably will be a little bit longer than usual. Um, if so, it's okay. I suppose. Just... You know, extra extra footage, <laughs> extra stuff. Again, again, we gonna we gonna see extra stuff. Hi, Eddie. Why do you have a gun? Killing a person ain't no big deal. Oh great. Just put the gun to their head. Pow. Nice. I like another corpse that looks like me. You killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Huh? Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here. Honest. Nice. Hey, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie? Well, in case you can't tell, Eddie is an unhinged little boy. Anyway. Uh, health drink around here. There should be a tablet of sorts. Another health drink. That's great. Oh, there's the tablet. The tablet of the gluttonous pig. Which is supposed to represent Eddie, I suppose. Um, there's a little painting here of the cafeteria. That's nice, I suppose. And there's a save point, which is very fucking great. Okay. So, thanks for watching part 7 of Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Stay tuned for part 8, where we're going to continue through this prison and solve a few more puzzles. And hopefully get into the labyrinth. Hopefully if I remember my way around. <laughs> okay, so, peace out. Bye! How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Little. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the emasculation, bitch. What's this? Not very cute, is it? No, you're not. Hey, James. You take it. Thanks. <laughs>